here's a parcel of knobby opal from Lightning Ridge Australia, rules in millimetres. Material has been wetted to help highlight the colours and patterns. This material gets to a point where we just have to stop tumbling it. And the agitator, because it will uh, material wet the opal wear away as much as the clay, because it's almost opalized. The, the clay is very hard. So we stop and we end up with pieces like this, which sometimes can reveal extra little treasures inside as you can see here little little knobbies have formed and I'll go a bit closer so you get a bit of look okay I've gone in a bit closer as I was saying these little tiny knobbies but you wouldn't know what's inside it until you need a, preferably a saw and you can slice it Little slices off at a time. Where was that piece showing? I read this bit, I think it was. A bit of red coming up through there. What it's going to be, don't know until you take some more of the clay off carefully and see. It might end up with a bit of colour across the top here and hopefully you end up with a stone. Pieces like this. Again, it's got opal coming out of it. Wouldn't be surprised if they've got some good cut. Good stones out of this, it's multicolored. Here's another piece with a bit of red. It's not showing so much up on the screen, but I'm seeing it from my angle of where I'm holding it. Again, little tiny knobbies. purple flash through there some new sort of black crystal colourful knobbies, something like that you might like just to keep in your display case as a specimen. Something like this is worth grinding down. A bit of colour starting to cut show through there. pinks again through here little nano knobbies there's a few more pieces there for you to look at as well hope you've enjoyed cheers